Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's nice to see you here at our annual virtual fair channel trends and vision. My name is Artem Krumic and I'm the Cybersecurity Center of Competence Lead at Also Group. For me, it's a big pleasure to have you all here. Partners, customers, vendors, friends. And today we are generally discussing about a new reality. And the topic of today's fair is new to next. A lot of changed in the year 2020. It changed our daily lifestyle, it changed how the business operate, it changed our home offices. Now I even have some backlights and a microphone stand, which I never used before. And I even try to learn how to record videos. Hopefully it will run smoothly and the presentation will be engaging. So today's topic is why customers are choosing security services over in-house security technology investments. And last year showed us pretty much that the way how companies operate and the way how they use to reduce all the operational costs just to make their business alive, to survive in this unknown reality, showed us that in terms of security, it's sometimes good to have a partner, a friend who could help you and solve you because he's an expert, because he has a know-how because he knows what to do in particular moment with company cybersecurity. And this is why sometimes it's, of course, better to call Paul or Lars or Yanis or Mark or Nordin or another Mark or Andre. It's always good to have a friend understanding in cybersecurity, especially in a situation when cybersecurity and cyber crimes become one of the maybe even the most uh, disrupting for the company's business. So to jump in into cybersecurity, I would like to start with the way how the cybercrime ecosystem works. And yeah, it's pretty much as a normal business when we have services, basically different ways on how uh, criminals can engage, interfere in your company's assets by using phishing emails or malware, or probably you all remember this encryption uh, malware called Petya, which encrypted all the financial databases and asked for money. It of course consists of a distribution through emails, software development kits, social media and social network. And of course, as it is still a business, a criminal business, it also has a monetization. And it becomes more and more often when cyber criminals demand uh, money back for just giving you back your assets. And nevertheless, the methods used uh, for malware distribution largely remain the same. Criminals are finding new ways to bypass the security measures. And what's more interesting and what was noticed uh, in the last several years is that uh, if previously criminals were working independently and separately, now they develop relationship within their the ecosystem to acquire access to essential technology that enables their operation or maximizes their profits. But this what actually means is also brings a huge potential for the market development. As you see, uh, nevertheless, it was a pandemic situation, business went down, but cybersecurity market is continuing to develop. Of course, there are different measurements and some companies believe that the, in the worst case scenario, the cybersecurity market growth will be at around 7%, some being more optimistic and offering even 15% compound aggregate growth rate. 
we assume that on average to year 24, uh, it would be around nine. But what's more interesting, all this development is applicable to almost every cybersecurity sphere. Will it be infrastructure security or application security or even other types of market like insurance? So if you are thinking that cybersecurity, if you were thinking that cybersecurity is not the business you would like to invest, I really hope that the market will persuade you that you should think of it. Uh, and yeah, when it comes to a big amount of money, yeah, we see that usually there are three types of people: business owners who wants to their business to be running to have a belief in in tomorrow, cyber criminals who of course wants to steal asset and earn money for themselves, and they are our cyber security service providers. Who are honestly doing their job by assisting business owners to get rid of cyber criminals. But what happens? Oh, if we go to the small companies' issues, first of all, cybersecurity, nevertheless, it's the fastest growing business area in IT. At the same time, it's understandably not a core competency of for SMEs. Since the focus of the company is on other things, there often is a lack of resources to constantly follow the latest trends, assess the risks, and meet all IT security requirements internally. Again, lack of budget. Security-related devices and things like network security appliances, the latest generation of firewall, or intrusion detection systems often require significant investment. Small businesses has a lack of necessary budget, often ignore what is really needed or consider it a low priority, at an even higher price. And there is a global shortage of cybersecurity professionals. At the same time, salaries in this area are at a record high level. In view of the shortage of skilled workers and the high salaries required, it is difficult to compete with large companies for security experts. And when we are trying to understand what is the actual reason for a company to go and ask and find a service provider or purchase IT equipment themselves, let's do a pretty simple conclusion. Let's assume we have a small company, around 100 employees, who is looking for an email security solution. Implementation of a traditional solution for that amount of employees on average would be somewhere at around 3.5 thousand euros. Cool, pretty cheap. Not so. First of all, you need to think of implementation. Let's assume the company's small solution is pretty straightforward and it would be somewhere around 1,000 euro, calculating that an average price for an hour would be in the range of 100, 300 euros per hour. Is that it? Of course not. Every solution which we implement, even in a small uh, customer, requires its management, including all the electricity bills, daily maintenance, restarting, rebooting the system, and just by having a professional. I assume that an employee, an IT specialist, on average will be paid from 100 to 500 euros per month for maintenance of an email solution. So then, after a year, you need definitely to purchase a software and support which is on average 30% of a price, approximately 1.5k. And after three years, the probably the reality will change and you will need a new solution or a full solution refreshment, which again will cost you the same amount of money as a purchasing of a uh, you did already three years before. 
So in a three year period, you need already to allocate and budget approximately 15,000 or 17,000 euro uh, that you will pay for having email protection. You have no possibility to adjust the amount of employees, even if, hopefully not, there will be one more pandemic situation and you will need to fire half of your employees, you will still be paying. This is a cost of your ownership and nothing will change. This is why companies nowadays and what we see more and more in the past two years are switching from an in-house cybersecurity uh, ownership to managed service providers because it's predictable it's only on a monthly basis not only but in majority of cases on a monthly basis and you have the full flexibility to change amount of users or to fully cancel a service if, if it's not needed so we at also are you are very focused on providing best in class managed service provider solution and with our vision is to have full stack of offerings starting from authentication, backup, endpoint protection to more complex solutions with security management, security awareness. And what we also provide for every partner who is willing to begin a managed service provider career uh, education. Because education in cybersecurity is like the base layer you need to understand what and who you are protecting. Within our cybersecurity portfolio, we are introducing uh, a lot of vendors, majority of them are here today in Channel Trends and Vision, who are offering managed service provider programs. So you can choose, you can speak with them, apply for a partnership and start your new business road. From our cybersecurity portfolio, I would like to point out several vendors which we at also were not selling for pretty much, so we were not selling before, and those are SSL certificates. Every company who is running a website or having a web shop is in need of uh, of an SSL certificate to secure the connection for users and to understand that there's no fraud happening in the middle of a transaction. With the DigiCert, one of the leading SSL certificate provider offerings, we are in full portfolio. We are now able to deliver those certificates to you with the management platform inside also Cloud Marketplace, available already now. Next offering I would like to point out is completely, so not completely, but so added several months before, QS Solutions Cybersecurity Assessment Tool for Microsoft Azure environment. Nevertheless, you decided to move to, to the Azure, you need to understand and bear in mind that moving to cloud will not change uh, your cybersecurity state and you still need to maintain passwords, maintain all the accesses, understand which users are accessing to the what, what resource or what application. QS solution CZ offering allows you to do scans for yourself and your customers to understand cybersecurity state and provides you with a full analysis and report to understand and mitigate potential risks in your Microsoft Azure environment. This option is one of the basic options to do a cybersecurity assessment from Microsoft and highly recommended by Microsoft themselves. If you want to get a more deep insight of what's happening inside your company, I would like to offer you our partners and friends offering from SAI. This is an Israeli-based uh, cybersecurity team which was formed by uh, ex-military red team 
participants now are doing machine learning, artificial and physical penetration and assessment of your uh, company's environment, providing on a constant basis you a report and mitigation plan and constantly improving your cyber, cyber protection state. And of course, we continue to add more and more vendors. Previously, I also mentioned uh, awareness. Uh, this month, in May, we have added Hawks Hunt Solution, which is an awareness training for emails, also available as a service provider offering, when you could set up an environment when your employees or your customers and employees will receive an emails, educational emails, of course, with some links that they should not click. And in case they click those links, they will be brought to a learning portal to describe what's, why they should not click and they will be controlled and checked on a regular basis. So with all our portfolio, our vision on cybersecurity monetization is pretty straightforward. We're bringing the best-in-class service, cybersecurity service provider vendors to our also cloud marketplace and to our also portfolio. Our offerings are available in different types. Will it be subscription for software, services, or even hardware, like we recently introduced in Germany, when you will have a possibility to order a WatchGuard firewall box on a monthly subscription basis. And then comes our ecosystem partners, you. You have a possibility not only to resell those solutions, but also to add your own additional services on top, like installation or monthly support or management. And this all will be delivered to your customers built through our also cloud marketplace platform and it's very simple let me jump to a sales cycle example usually when uh, you speak to also people you know that we are very strong uh, with our Microsoft business and we are known uh, that we have a best offering for, for Microsoft and usually when we speak to customers we start engaging with them with MS Office, Office offering which costs around 9 euro per month. There are different ways how you as a partner can do a logical upsell. First of all, as I previously mentioned, you do a cybersecurity assessment with an average cost 15 euro per month. Then you probably realize that Microsoft tool for email protection are usually not enough and there are still many phishing emails coming to your customers. You add a email protection subscription. Then, depending on the customer state, you can add data protection or secure access. And at the end, or maybe even in the beginning, there is an awareness educational offering you can add. So all together, it sums up to 100 euro per one user or 1,332 euros per year for one user. Think of how many possibilities you have nowadays if you are already selling Microsoft Office. If you are not selling Microsoft Office, you can start doing it now or start only with security. Of course, our key goal is to go always right, to have a good offerings, good portfolio and happy customers. So what to do? It's interesting that the image I found is 20th date of a month. Today is 19th, so act now. So how to start? First of all, you can contact also cybersecurity experts in every country you're looking this presentation at. Demand your individual business planning meeting with our specialist. If you don't have, 
ask for access to also Cloud Marketplace and explore all the offering. Not only Microsoft and security, we have a bunch of beautiful offerings in the software space. Choose your starting cybersecurity vendors and become a cybersecurity service provider. It's that easy. Of course, I will not offer you enormous amount of money day one, but to be successful and to be engaging and to work in that direction at the end will create a sustainable business which is will not be affecting on any pandemic situation and will be easily adjustable at any moment. So reach us out, reach to me directly, I will be hanging here around and of course visit Cyberdome, our place for cybersecurity vendors and offerings. Appoint your meetings and let's do a protected world. Have a nice day. My name is Artem Krumish. Bye.